I believe we set the reef net on August 7th. It was late afternoon and we had two canoes and three or four support boats. And we were successful in launching the net and the lead, which was really exciting. And it was the farthest out that we have ever gotten in the program. So yeah, we're really proud of that. I thought it was a really beautiful experience. I wasn't able to go out on the canoes for the first little bit because I had a knee injury that I had when we were on Pender. So that was pretty unfortunate. But uh, this year we were actually able to set the net properly than we have the previous years because we were able to get heavier lead lines and buoys added onto the net so it could sink down into the water more. And we could actually see some fish like out in the bay. And that was really cool to experience. And it kind of just showed us like how far we've come like with this project. So it was really amazing. It felt like it was something I've done before. And then I feel like because we had experienced people in ReefNet, it's just, it felt like home. I just felt super comfortable being there and I felt like I've done it before. I want to use the word successful. I know I've used it a lot, but I think that's what it was. Each year is like another step forward and what we're bringing back. Like it's always going to be successful in my opinion because the first year hasn't been done not how many years second year it was better than the first year and then this year was better than last year so I always think it's pretty successful I guess I could also agree that it was successful and it really felt like because I've also been here the past three years too with the program it felt like our hard work was really paying off yeah like Julia said it just felt like home and it felt like where we belonged it was really an amazing experience it felt like a warmness in your heart and it was like wow we're all really doing this and it was amazing how far we got I feel like with every launch that we do like this we're always growing together it feels so easy and so natural for us to be that close and working that well together that's always something that I really look forward to within this program is just that sense of family. I think my favorite moment when we were launching the net was when we all decided that it was time for us to pull up the net and everyone was really excited and there was a lot of energy there. And I think that was probably my favorite only because we'd never gotten that far before and it was just really exciting. All the teamwork that we did together, especially out on the water and, you know, even like when mistakes are made, we all kind of do our best to take that opportunity as like a chance to grow together and learn something from it. I think it was really great to have a lot of community members out there with us. I felt that it was very important for as many people in the community to witness that moment in time when we were bringing back our old ways of fishing and our old technology. And I think it was really beautiful to share with them. I thought really awesome to have people on the sideline like cheering us on. I was kind of nervous to go out when we first started that day and it was just reassuring to have like I guess cheerleaders on the side. It was just awesome to see. It was really nice to feel like all the support from even like surrounding communities and we even had people come from Lummi who practice reef net fishing over there as well and they came to witness that and <laughs> So um, but yeah, it was just really beautiful to feel all that support from, you know, all the other community members. They were all just as excited as uh, we were. Doing it on the field when we were practicing, I thought it was going to be like pretty similar to that. And it was, but it was like different to get help from the boats that were around to help and as well as on the canoes. Probably like tying it from the boat like getting it off the boat into the water was pretty confusing for me i was pretty windy out it wasn't calm at all like the current was pushing us in all the time then we'd like constantly go like almost bump each other like canoes i feel like it's always going to be nerve-wracking in a way because we're bringing back this old way of fishing for our people so it's always going to be like a little voice at the back of our minds like are we doing this right like is this the way that we should be doing it and kind of really just following our intuition and following what the other knowledge holders and elders have to say. I also think with every year that this program runs, it, it's smoother and easier. I think it was equal parts exciting as well as daunting, just because, you know, you never know how it's going to go in the beginning. So we kind of just take it step by step. And then there's a lot of coordinating with each other as well as to support boats and just communicating with each other. So I think there's a lot of pressure that is put onto all of us. So I think that's where a lot of our stress comes from. I think as a team, we've gotten better at problem solving and communicating with each other. And I think having this be our third year in the program, we know a bit more of what to expect as far as setting up from the support boat and being on the canoes and just 
working with each other to be successful. I didn't expect the tides to change so quickly while we were on the water. I just, I'm so shocked and amazed that like our ancestors knew the tides and like how the waters worked in. And it was just amazing to think how well they landed back then. And then we have all this technology now and we had our frustrations with that. I think everyone who was there was probably happy. You asked like about how people were there watching us and I feel like everyone was in a good mood. Everybody got to see us set the net. Everyone got to see fish for the first time jumping around right in front of us. And then we also had our relatives over from across the water from Mami over there with us too. So like it's just like an awesome feeling being able to come back on the shore and knowing we're like we're this like much closer to being able to get fish in our net. And when that happens, it's just going to be, it's going to be an unreal feeling. So like being able to get that close to Sears, it's just, it's a, it's a very happy feeling. I think all of us definitely had a sense of pride with as much as we had accomplished that day. But I think that was also contrasted with a bit of anxiousness, just because we all wanted to stay out there just a little bit, even if we were tired and hungry and dehydrated. It was definitely something that we wanted to go further with, but that's something for the future. I want to say maybe three, four hours. I don't know. We also weren't really like looking at the clocks very much either. The one thing I think I would change is um, if we were, us as our Kusanich people here, like we had our relatives from Lummi across the water come over. They've also done it. They've made their own net. They've also done it successfully, I believe. If we were able to come together, Kusanich in one canoe and Lummi in one canoe, and we're able to do it together, I think it'd just be a neat idea to be able to pull in together and also show that within our communities around here, we don't believe in that border. Life. They were able to come over, just showing like how close we all could be if that if we weren't determined by a borderline. I think one thing that I would not necessarily change, but more so add on to the program is advertising to the community when we were going out and what it would mean to be out there to us and for them just to be able to share that moment with us. I think it'd be really great to share that with the community as much of the community as we could. I also think not so much more ad but like maybe strive for setting the net more than once a summer because although it is a lot of work all of us setting a few days that we just go and maybe test it out for a couple of hours out on the water invite the community to come and watch us and just really unravel those kinks that we have it's never kind of just us like there's always a lot of people behind the scenes with what kind of goes into this like yes we're the ones setting it but we always have our people in the support boats who are coming out and then our bosses who are working at the office behind the scenes and doing everything for us so it's never just us just to put your heart out into it when you're out there on the water have patience and have fun try it try it out at least a couple weeks i would tell them to try it out because why not you are doing really good work for our communities doing this job and for the future generations to come as well um and i think it really is a privilege to be a part of this group because of how long we have been without our reef and technology but yeah, try it out, connect with people that you may know from your community, but don't really know on that level and just create some new memories and new friends. Don't be scared to come try it out, even if you don't think you're going to know anybody or you're nervous of being on the water or just testing out fishing for your first time. Don't be, don't be discouraged by anything. Just come on out. More the merrier. That it was definitely like something to be scared of at first, but like there was so much team building and like teamwork that was going on through the program. So there's nothing to be scared of. Don't be scared to try new things. We're all taking a step in revitalizing something that was taken away from us hundreds of years ago. Like we're moving in the right step with youth leading it along the way.